hi and welcome to my channel my channel my channel my channel no okay welcome to my channel thank you so very much for watching if you haven't clicked like subscribe or share by now I'm gonna work hard to get it okay so this next video I am doing a try on haul and you already know by now I'm a big H&M yeah, so I spend my life, my time, my money, my entire existence basically at H&M. At this point, they should give me an endorsement to put my face on some ads or something because my entire existence is made out of H&M. Well, not my existence, but yeah, my fashion existence. Anyway, I'm trying on some fashion looks from H&M. It's from online, but I didn't get the stuff online. It's just stuff that I bought before the shut, the lockdown shut down it's a few looks that i got before the lockdown really cute looks got them on sale cheapskate very excited um i will try and link some of the stuff if i find them online still for you guys in the description box but if you like what you see stick around see what i have for you and give it a thumbs up at the end don't forget to hit a notification bell because you might see this face again pretty soon i know i'm like three days late for fashion friday but better late than never right <laughs> thanks for saving to you guys i am sitting at seven. it is the most exciting time of my life not for me but I'm almost at 100 and I wouldn't have it if you didn't hit that subscribe button. So thank you so, so very much. Enjoy this next video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. I will style the looks on my Instagram soon and take a few shots for you. But this is literally just me trying on the wrinkled clothes. Also, I don't have an iron so. So first up we have this sexy lavender bodysuit. This is my favorite item and I'm so excited about it because I thought it wouldn't look good because I have broad shoulders and a chest but it works out pretty 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 well. Speaking of chest, sorry for the purple lippy stain. I tried it with the purple lipstick on. We have these trousers. They're kind of wide-legged. Kind of gives that masculine but feminine touch all at once. I paired them down with these beautiful mules from H&M. They're really cute. They have a bow touch. And I'm going to add on a white bag. Should I wear this? I didn't do much on accessory because like I said, this is not a styling video. But if I were to do earrings or necklace or something, it would just be dangling earrings. In the comment section, did I hit it on the head or not? Then I went on to try on my favorite, favorite item of the entire haul. This leather shirt. I've been looking for a leather shirt for the longest time. It was also part of my trends. If you haven't seen the video, the previous video, you need to watch it. I will link it down below. But this is my favorite. When you wear a leather shirt, what I love about it is that you can always just do one solid color at the bottom and just pop it on. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. It's really a shift from the leather jacket. So yeah! Next up we have this mom dress. I call it a mom dress because I feel like I look like a mom in it. But it is this beautiful white dress. It's a maxi dress. Perfect length for the summer spring season. I am just really crazy about this dress. I don't usually do uh, dresses that fit like this. I go for bodycon because of my body shape. However, it's a wrap dress and I feel like a wrap dress can work on any body type also i can twirl in it so why not <laughs> then we have another mom dress this dress is not really my favorite but i felt like i could do a lot with it loved the sleeves they have a little cute detail on there look at that so pretty and then I love the little tie at the neck. You can make a cute little bow or just leave it hanging. Like I said, this dress was not my favorite. I actually find it quite frumpy, but I see potential. I could do something really cute with this dress. I could put 
about maybe on the waist because I like to accentuate my waist in most of my dresses. I could add a cute sneaker, a cute shoe, and yeah. Oh. Next up, we have this knitwear. Um, <laughs> I love knits like this with the zip detailing because I feel I can always do a lot with it in the winter time. I could always put a high neck underneath and, and wear it. Up I have a big head, so but it helps. Love this color also because I'm transitioning from being these bright, bright colors to this. Um, oatmeal kind of colors so yeah this is one of my favorite knitwears one quick tip that i can give you is that never buy your staples within season so don't buy your winter clothes in winter it's usually very expensive and that is why you are seeing a lot of non-seasonal stuff in my hauls because I'm a sale girl. So next up we have this beautiful white dress. It could be a top. I'm not quite sure because I'm quite curvy. It fits as a top onto me. I think it's quite cute. I could pair it on with some nice leggings, some nice tights, some print detail underneath. And the P you are seeing is a P for Pringle. It was part of the collaboration that H&M had with Pringle. I couldn't afford this dress then so I was patient and I waited for it and it paid off. <laughs> next up we have this tom and jerry jumper i got it uh, in january before just before the chinese new year it's not a sale item and i don't think you can still find it online however i thought it was cute to share with you it's really a nice item to have during the winter time very cozy very cute i'm a big kid at heart so Tom and Jerry is also one of my favorite all-time cartoons. So I thought this would be a nice thing to have in my closet. I started collecting a lot of lightweight jackets and I saw this and I thought like it was a nice addition to my closet plus the fact that I threw out my green jacket uh, during my closet purge which I'm going to post later on but I felt like this is a nice jacket because you know in Kuwait it's quite hot but you still also want to be covered up so this is a bit of a lightweight shirt material which is perfect. This one you've seen before, but I didn't try it on for you guys, and here we go. So I loved this check on this blazer, I'm a huge check fan, however, I felt like this color is right on point to the girl that I'm trying to be right now. I love blazers, you always need one or two blazers in your closet, you can always cuff the sleeve if you don't want to look too serious. This one is a little too heavy, so I'm going to be saving it up for the winter. It's super busy print, so I think a monochromatic look underneath would make the print pop really nicely, either in white or black. You would really make this print pop. This one seems like just a basic black outfit to the naked eye, but when you come closer, you realize it has this beautiful intricate detail. I mean, look at that sleeve, that little cute sleeve with a button on it, the imprint with roses that you don't see unless you're like really close or when the light hits it well. The collar, love this blouse, it is one of my favorites. And I love styling it with these particular trousers because it has a similar print on it even though it is paisley. I love the fit of this trouser. I am an adult that doesn't have black trousers so I got really excited when I saw this trouser. It was a good price but a good purchase because I'm trying not to look too serious but I'm also trying to be a grown woman. Get me? <laughs> adulting doesn't really last long because here I am back again with another Tom and Jerry print love these denims also bought them along with the other top they are really such a wild print but I think I can make them look grown up the fit is quite uh, story of my life <laughs> but otherwise they're really cute you could do a black top a red top white top and it would just pop Next up we have this beautiful long denim jacket. I love denim, long denim jackets because of their versatility. You can get away with making them a dress. So if you are looking for something that you can use as a double up in your wardrobe, denim jackets are always the perfect item. Love this one, even though it's not the length of a dress, buttoned down, it has this, the length that I want. I love it because it also has this cute 
belt that just cinches me at the waist which is a look that I usually go for obviously <laughs> but I quite like this jacket another thing is that I got it for a literal steal because I didn't even pay a fraction of what it was worth so I am a huge huge fan of this one I will be definitely abusing it a whole lot in my wardrobe love it because even in the summer I could just tie it at the back and yeah do that <laughs> we're good to go remember in the get to know me tag when I said my style depends on the day this top is a perfect example I'm not quite sure how and where it's gonna fit in my closet. I've worn it once and I didn't really like how I styled it, but I think it's quite cute if I put something underneath. I can wear it here in Kuwait. I can uh, do something white maybe underneath. I loved the little doily uh, detailing on it. It's the perfect summer top actually. Um, I'm just still not very sure. It's too cutesy for me. <laughs> We've seen these trousers before on my Instagram, but we haven't seen them here on YouTube. I just thought we should talk about them a little bit. They are beautiful. They pop really nicely in the sun. They remind me actually of my grandmother's hot day. Like they have that organza material kind of feeling, which is perfect because it's so hot here. I love the fit of these trousers. The quarantine weight is a bit sabotaging right now. Waist doesn't fit, obviously, you know by now. But love them, gonna do a lot with them. So that's how the whole went and I'm hoping that you enjoyed it. I hope that you can give me some few styling tips in the comment section below. If you have anything that you'd like to share, hit me up. If you loved this video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell because your girl is trying to learn TikTok. I'm trying to do styling tips on TikTok and I don't know, maybe I'm just too old or I'm too young. I don't know what it is, but like I'm slow for TikTok. So I'm hoping the next video that you see will have something to do with TikTok or maybe it might just be funny. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Please don't forget to click, click like, subscribe or share. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I'm almost on 100 and maybe we can do something special when we reach that 100. Thank you. Mwah.